Bill, Bill Rhodes, and uh, he's going to start his presentation. You want to come up and say a few words? Here, Doug? I, I will. My name is Jeffrey Sewell, and um, I've been working with voter data for about uh, about 15 years now. I started working for a couple organizations that were uh, trying to push a, a school choice, and it led me to learn a lot about it and to learn uh, about voter vault, you know, the RNC's uh, database. And uh, so we we set out to create something that was a lot more user friendly and so on and so forth. And just better data, um, phone numbers that were real, for example. Um, and and it led us to develop this uh, this mobile application. And it works on iPads, it works on iPhones, it works on Android smartphones, it works on anything. And, uh, and it allows you to go door to door and to actually know who you're going to talk to. I just pulled up a, a voter here somewhere on Cherokee Lane, and um, I can see um, the folks that live in this house um, uh, right there before I even knock on the door. I know how old they are, I, knew, I know what their race is, um, and I got their name. So, uh, you know, I can say hello, uh, hello, Mr. Morris, you know, when I knock on the door. And I know that his wife's uh, name is uh, Aaron. There you go. And we, we've never met before, right? <laughs> That's right. There you go. Uh, but, um, so, it's a, um, it's kind of a goofy technology thing, but it's, it's, it's built for use. Anybody can use it. And you don't have to be a genius or an IT. Um, or anything like that. And uh, my partner Bill put together a little bit of a uh, little presentation here. Um, but I'll just tell you one more thing about it. This was this was built to give power to activists to go door to door and organize precincts. And it's a it's just a really really cool thing that quite frankly only the parties have had in the past. Um, uh, so anyway, Bill, you, you got your presentation? Yeah. Uh, how many of you believe that the Tea Party has had a positive influence on America? How many of you are liberals, progressives? Good. Last time we had one of it, well, about two, three weeks ago, we had three liberal spies in the audience. So I just kind of like to know. Uh, but basically, I uh, I went to D.C. with the Tea Party in uh, 2009. We had eight bus loads of people that went from Greenville to D.C. We could have filled up ten buses, uh, but we couldn't find it. We, after we got eight, we couldn't find it anymore. We had enough people to fill up ten. So when we came back, I helped found a, well, I found the Greenville Tea Party. Uh, I've, uh, I'm real strong in the Tea Party, uh, I, I believe, as far as I believe in it real strong. And uh, I've written a book that I'd like to get you to edit. If you don't mind, uh, on how to save America. And it's basically, I went to Tea Party after Tea Party, and we had, I saw these people going up to these politicians. How can I, what can I do? I've never been in politics before, what can I do? And I've seen it time after time. In Columbia, I went to Columbia Tea Party, Anderson Tea Party, Greenville Tea Party, <laughs> all over, in D.C., all over the place. And I keep hearing that same question over and over. So I decided to write a book. It's called uh, Battle for Our Liberty. But it's mainly giving people answering that question in as much detail as possible. It's about 370 pages. Uh, if you go to battleforourliberty.com, you can see a copy of the book. Uh, uh, we're also putting together uh, training videos. Uh, when I met Jeffrey, I. Uh, some time ago, uh, I noticed he had what he called Victor, the voter data, and I looked at that and I thought about it and thought about it and I said, that could really help the Tea Party out. And if you're helping the Tea Party out, you're helping America out. So, I bought part of Jeffrey's company and then we started uh, going in. His, his system was a computer-based system. So we basically I've been investing tens of thousands of dollars to have a mobile system that you can carry a survey or information on an iPhone or iPad. And that's we just completed that mobile system design uh, as of last week, end of this week. 
uh, I mean the end of last week, and uh, that's what I want to show you here. It should revolutionize our, our political process. And if we could, and I, my goal is to give it to the hands of Tea Party people only. None of the Republican good old boys can ha have access to it without my knowledge. If, if I know about it, they can't have access to it. Now, they might sneak around and get access to it. <laughs> but it's for the Tea Party minded people only. I said Tea Party minded, so being a Republican doesn't mean you can't get it. But it, you got to be Tea Party minded. And what our goal is to get this system in the hands of Tea Party people in every precinct in the state. And precinct by precinct, we can take our country back. And we're planning to carry this to other states as well. Right now, it's just in South Carolina. Before you get started, what's your definition of Tea Party? How would you define Tea Party? Uh, a lot of the Republicans do believe in the same things the Tea Parties believe, but uh, pretty much libertarian values. A lot of libertarian yeah. and conservative values. Why Tea Party versus libertarian? Pardon? Why have libertarian and Tea Party? Well, they're all the same. To me, the Tea Party is the as great as Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union. We need to make our numbers grow. We need to communicate and to every American and invite them to join this fight for freedom in 2012. We have to sound the alarm that this could be our last <coughs> to turn our country around. But we also have to remind everyone that we are Americans. We can win this. We can make our future brighter than our past. But we have to go out and fight for it. Prior to the Tea Party, statistically, the candidate with the most money won. Now you cannot win an election with just speeches, jets, buses, money, and TV ad. I'll keep my freedom. I'll keep my guns. Try to keep my money and my religion too. Try to keep on working. Try to keep on smiling. I will keep my Christian name in your win a war with only air strikes. You also have to have boots on the ground. Even with taxpayers paying travel expenses, it takes more than free jets and employees to win an election. No matter how much TV time a candidate gets, that alone will not win an election. Carbon dioxide, Mr. Speaker, is a natural byproduct of nature. You know, there are a number of ways to be smart about Iran and relatively few ways to be dumb, and the administration skipped all the ways to be smart. Wise remarks alone will not win an election. <laughs> Winning a debate will not win an election. You also have to have boots on the ground to win elections. U.S. voter data, USVD provides the tools to get money, equipment, and put considerably more boots on the ground. USVD provides only Tea Partiers with the tools for organizing precincts, creating a voice in the GOP, and winning elections. USVD has a secret weapon called MPS. With MPS, we can take our country back, precinct by precinct. Our precincts are the key to winning election campaigns. Tea Partiers throughout the nation will be using the latest cloud technology to organize their precincts and help elect true conservatives. The customizable software works on all smartphones and iPads and will revolutionize the ability of patriots to take their country back. Mobile Patriot System, MPS. Why let a campaign use Pony Express instead of Federal Express? While the Tea Partiers are organizing their precincts, they can also help conservatives get elected by doing voter surveys for micro-targeting, collecting candidates' donations, identifying volunteers, updating volunteer voter contact information, identifying voters for GOTV, registering conservative voters, plus much, much more. Survey methods, door-to-door, -door, phones, websites, documents, robocalls, emails, Surveys will help organize your precinct and help win elections. During elections, the campaign manager can have access to the information before you leave the doorsteps. 
In addition to the precinct reorganization, the surveys are designed to ID the candidates' voters, voter issues, absentee voters, early voters, your volunteers, and what they're volunteering to do. On a smartphone or iPad, the surveyor will simply touch the check marks next to the way volunteers plan to help a campaign. During surveys, donations can be collected at the door via credit cards. Touch precinct. All of the streets in that precinct are displayed. On Bayberry Road, there are 31 voters living in 15 homes. Press map to review the location of registered voters' homes in the precinct. Press the street you want to update survey. All of the street addresses are sorted in numerical order. Number of registered voters in each home. Press map to see a map of registered voters on that street. Home locations of registered voters on chosen street. Press satellite to change to satellite view. The satellite view can be used to ID homes that do and do not have registered voters. In maps, you can zoom in and out. Press the address you want to update and or survey. Check indicates that this person has been surveyed. Press the person you want to update and or survey. Press conduct survey. Start survey. If answer is our candidate, we call them GOTV. Note, these voters that said that they will also vote in the primary are a higher priority. Survey questions will have a specific purpose for helping to organize precincts and or winning elections. You can have instant access to hundreds of different surveys. Customize is our middle name. Press update volunteer. Press update donor. MPS is a great tool for winning elections. But how do we get conservatives to use it? We need to review a short history of the Tea Party movement. On September 12, 2009, approximately 1.5 million concerned citizens expressed their dissatisfaction with our legislators. Each person that went to D.C. represents another 60-plus that could not go. During the September 12, 2009 march, some politicians heard our voice. After the 2010 elections, all politicians heard our voice, loud and clear. Although they heard us, many politicians are too set in their ways to change. They must be replaced. How can the Tea Party movement make our politicians more accountable to we the people? The Tea Party march on September 12, 2009 completed phase one. The 2010 elections was the phase two for taking our country back. Phases four and five are replacing politicians in the 2012 and 2014 elections. Phase six is constantly supervising our politicians to ensure they are accountable to we the people. To achieve phases four, five, and six, phase three should be for all Tea Partiers to use U.S. voter data's mobile patriot systems. For security purposes, MPS's user can permanently have access to only their precinct information. Step one. In every state, sell the Tea Party organizations on the use of MPS. Step two, the members perform surveys in their precincts and organize like-minded people. Step three, organize precincts. Step four, be a precinct officer. Step five, you and your precinct volunteers help conservative candidates win elections. We need to make our numbers grow. We are Americans, we can win this, we can make our future brighter than our past but we have to go out and fight for it. The socialists are coming. The socialists are coming. Be prepared. Learn how to put boots on the ground and build your army of voters and volunteers. God bless the USA. To the socialist politicians. One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you. U.S. voter down.
Chris does a lot of other things that aren't in, in the video, but uh, we've only had to limit the video to a short period of time. But we have additional training videos for people that actually start using it. Uh, and I really believe we can make a real big difference in this country if, if we use it not just for the 2012 election, but for the right-minded, Tea Party-minded people to use it like from their own. They go around, do surveys of their their precinct. They'll they'll know with the, with voter vault. We don't really know if somebody's Republican or Democrat. The only way they determine is if they voted in Republican primary. Hell, there's a lot of Democrats voting in the Republican primary, so you don't know beans. And then there's only about one to ten percent of the people in each county even vote in the primary. So you're leaving out uh, about 95 percent of the other population. But when you go around and do a survey, now you've got detailed information. You find out whether they are conservative, liberal, progressive. You find out uh, what to think about the Tea Party. I've got a Tea Party question in the survey. I'd like to know which ones are Tea Party minded. We can find out which ones have, will have a son that's just turned, or a daughter that's just turned 18, so we can get them to register to vote. Of course, we don't want them to register to vote unless they, they appear to be conservative. Uh, we, we want the liberals to stay home. We don't want them to register. Uh, so anyhow, the survey is set up so it will help you organize your precinct, help you win elections, and get good quality, detailed information to win elections. We did uh, get out the vote phone calls through voter vault for Mulvaney. It seemed like about 80%, 80 to 90% of the phone numbers did not work. <coughs> it's just, it's not up to date. But imagine <coughs> what you could do if you had some, some Tea Party, some people in the precinct that would gather this data year round, not just a month or two right before precinct reorganization, but year round, year after year after year. Imagine the quality of the data that you can put together, and and the political, uh, and how much you can help people on get out the vote and get the right people out the vote. You don't want to just get everybody out the vote. You want the Democrats to stay home. You want to get the Republican conservatives out the vote. And this is the best way to identify them is through the surveys. Now, we do have quite a few ways, as you noticed in the film, we've got quite a few ways to do the survey. Uh, to where hopefully you can do it on robocall and you don't have to work as hard and you don't have to go door to door on all cases. Uh, any questions? Um, what type of expense is involved in getting? Uh, I would think too, if I originally wanted to give it, give, give it out for free, to the Tea Party minded people, but uh, Chris said free is what it's what you have to, is worth what you have to pay for. What did you say? Right. <clears throat> People don't take any value if it's free. Yeah. So um, we came up with a, a a yearly amount about four dollars uh, a month, to fifty bucks for a year, thirteen cents a day to have access to your precinct year round to get all the reports, all the da data. As you're knocking doors or talking to people or even phone calling, that data will be saved in there, and the reports will go back to you to help in your precinct. So, so you're going down through the Southland Department of uh, Election Commission, and you're, you're you're purchasing the voter registration data. Be better than that. And <coughs> then you're downloading it on here, making it accessible to. Better than that. Jeffrey's I been so. manipulating, building and building a database for over 15 years from, that started from there so, that now is is access to the system. So the, the, re the reason why I'm asking is I, I, it's like I, I ran for Congress in the 2nd District as a Libertarian, and uh, I went down there and for, I think it was $1,100, I could purchase all the voting records for the, for the 11 counties that were in the district, district, in the district that time. Um, I didn't have $1,100, so I didn't do it. But... Um, is, is that kind of like what you're talking about, is getting that data and then putting it into this program? So if a person wants to run in a particular district, 
that data is already there. Yeah, that data, that data exists right now in every single district period. All the way back to 1998 is where our history goes back to. And uh, we, we uh, purchased the, um, the data, the full data set from the Election Commission, uh, $1,975 through Ms. Liz Simons down there, and uh, uh, up to four times a year. Then we enhance it with phone numbers, email addresses, et cetera, et cetera. What's great about this, though, is now we're talking about reaching out and touching people at their front door. That's a hard target. You're yeah. calling people. That's soft. People tell you whatever you, they want to get you off the phone, but when I'm at your door, you know this. Uh, and you're shaking hands and you're eyeball to eyeball, you're going to get the truth out of folks. Here's what's really key about this. You own your data. You own it. So over a period of time, um, uh, you know, an individual could get to know their entire precinct, have a phone number, a cell phone number for every single person that agreed to take the survey. Um, I wanted to mention something on the politics, because uh, I think that this is key. Things have changed. we got a lot of people that voted for Obama, and they're not going to be voting for Obama again. And they might have considered themselves Democrats. They might still consider themselves Democrats, but they're conservative Democrats. Uh, some people might find that an odd thing, but I, I <coughs> believe it myself. And um, so this tool, again, allows you to get out there, knock on all the doors, not just, not just people that have voted Republican all their life, um, but to get to know the rest of, of your neighbors um, and find out what they really think, what they, th what they think on issues. Part of our survey talks about issues, what's important to you. Well, immigration is my deal, um, or um, I love guns, or whatever, right? Find out what they're willing to do. Maybe they're just a bumper sticker person, but maybe they'll put a, a, a yard sign up for you. Um, Maybe they're underemployed, they're working three jobs, they don't have time, but they really want to get you 20 bucks for, um, you know, whoever, you know, is running at that particular time. So uh, it's just a very, very, very powerful tool. And again, the people that will utilize this are going to own the data, it's your data. And uh, you'll be able to constantly improve upon that and get good people elected. Uh, but based on your politics, not mine, we can be Tea Party people, we can be Libertarian people, both of us, or we can be, you know, some hybrid of that, um, Libertarian, um, but disagree on who we're going to vote for. And that's okay. It's your precinct, you own the data. So uh, I would just want to make that quick point there. Another way it can help out elections is... Uh, different campaign brother is it's got like 15 different categories just for volunteers like who wants to put out a yard sign who will get out do a, get out the vote calls etc and then you just check mark it now we can sort it by everybody that wants a yard sign and then print out a list of exactly who needs a yard sign and take it to them uh, it helps you organize your volunteers and you know, in a campaign volunteers are extremely important. They are your boots on the ground. Any questions? Bill, I've got to go to the okay. Talbot's radio show, but Eddie's going to take over. And there's a lot of questions for you, I know. And this is a great program. And thanks for doing this. What I think is amazing is this is occurring in South Carolina. This is, Bill is a leader for the whole country in this. So before you leave, shake Bill's hand and thank him for doing this. He's had major heart problems he's in hospitals and serious things. He's doing this for this country, folks. Bill, thank you so much. Thank you. Just one thing real quick. They cut me from here to here with a McCullough chainsaw Ooh. for a quadruple bypass. I was laying in the hospital bed. <laughs> nurse walks up, looks at my chest, and she said, your chest looks good. I looked at her and I said, yours does too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Two swords. <laughs> But, you know, I, 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 do some I do some research work for a, uh, for a research company, which requires me to go out to certain addresses, and I carry an IPAC. You know, it's handheld, and I, I input all my data in that IPAC. And just a few weeks ago, I was, I was telling my wife, 
I wonder where I can buy me an eye pack like this because this would be great um, doing a campaign when you're going door to door because you can punch in all the information you want to punch in. Well, now you so, got it. so this is similar to what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it's handheld. And like, we can modify it and take any kind of data. You can change the surveys. You can change the input fields. We can modify it any way you want to. I'll customize it. I'm going to share one thing that I think really boils us down because this will revolutionize the way people get elected based on the fact that if we can uh, have enough percentage of people that own their precincts, how many people have heard of micro-targeting before? There's approximately 1,500 voters in a precinct. Now, only a certain percentage will actually get out to vote, about 26%, I think, actually, the people that get out to vote. And then out of that 26%, or about 300 to 400 voters, you're going to be able to identify maybe 100, 150 that are conservative, Tea Party, libertarian-minded folks that once you boil it down, you'll have those 150 folks. And when you pick up the phone or you're asking them to get out to vote and you know that their hot button is immigration or pro-life or Second Amendment, think what that does. That, that's changed the landscape. And, and when you're talking to these people, it's, hey, I'm, I'm Corey Norris, I'm your neighbor. Okay, I'm not, you know, so-and-so out of uh, Washington, D.C., I'm your neighbor. And uh, that makes a tremendous impact on, on the lay of the land. Anybody that would like to sign up for this, see Chris afterwards. Or myself. Watch it. I'm just right here. If you'll go on Bay the back of the page. Bay, Bay wants to sign up. Okay. Uh, USVoterData.com. And you go on and register. Yes, sir. Okay. So go ahead. You just go on there. US Voter Data. It's 50 bucks a year. Um, about, what is that, 93 cents a week, and you own the data, and you control your neighborhood, and you have access to all the reports for the entire time, and uh, help get out the vote. Is this a tool that's used primarily with registered voters? Yeah, yeah, you have access to the registered voters, but if there's people that are not registered, you'll still be able to go in and, and update their information add them to the system so you have that affidavit. That's good way. I would see if you're going door to door, then it's good you're touching the register voters, but you also can touch people who are not registered. You get them on board as far as getting them signed up. Buddy, we went through it kind of fast, but then the aerial photo, it, it showed the, the street with all the houses, the ones with the little kind of an orange mark on it are registered voters, the ones that don't have it. So it helps you identify which ones are registered and which ones are not registered. And, but you want to do your survey first before you get them to register because they might be, you might be registering a lot of people. Yes, sir. There's an ideological battle going on in this country. And we're losing. You know, you, you have to, you, when you talk about excluding liberals, liberals, you got to change their mind. That's what you have to do. I mean, they have an idea that's different from ours. Let me ask you a question. Is Social Security a Ponzi scheme? Who's talking about excluding liberals? Well, you said that you didn't want this information to go out to liberals. Like you, you know, now, you, I never said that. Well, I, I said what, what I, I, what I, I said. Okay, what I said. Let me repeat this. Read my lips. You ever heard anybody say that before? Oh, yeah. Read my lips. I consider conservatives and liberals as part of the Tea Party movement. I said, I might have said liberals. I meant, uh, I'm talking about progressives. I, yeah. I, I meant to say liberals. I'm liberals. talking about progressives. In other words, the people on the other side that we're battling Obama against. People. There's an ideological battle going here. Yeah, you're I don't know liberals and, I, and an example of it I'm is. I'm not going to give it to liberals. An example of it is. socialist or communist. Well, there you go. In other words, it, the ideological battle consists of, I think those people are completely screwed up, but you've got to change their mind. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Oh, I mean, to me, it's ignorant. I thought that. I was thinking a little bit yeah, yeah. All right, well, let me go back to the original question. Is Social Security a problem? He's going to be greedy. <laughs>
that's hard. <laughs> <laughs>